I get a chance to fly a good bit. It's one of the perks of uh, programming some of the flight models. Hi, I'm Steve Naylor. I work for Air 4323 Flight Vehicle Modeling and Simulation here at Pax River. I am the F-18 Simulation Team Lead. So now I'm an afterburner, I'm waiting for airspeed to pick up. This is the F-18 A through D simulator. It's a single seat simulator, what we have here. The pilot will come out here, get in, we'll turn the lights off, light up the projectors, and the test team will be watching monitors that are pointed at these displays. These cameras uh, repeat into the other, into the room in there. So the test team can see everything the pilot can see. My job is to set up the aircraft at the right position for whatever test point they're getting ready to do. At about 120 knots, I'll lift off and then raise the flapping gear. This simulator mainly supports flight test on the base here. We provide some training for the VX-23 pilots to keep their currency levels up and to do emergency procedures. Uh, mainly it's a flight test asset. We'll do some high risk type of maneuvers. Uh, here's one of the other cool things to do. Solomon's Bridge is out here and you can go under it. That's pretty fun. My background is, is in aerospace engineering and I bring knowledge of the airplane and systems and then I have to be also pretty proficient in computer programming. So we as a branch or as a competency are responsible for maintaining and, and coding the airframe portion of the simulation. So what I do is, is make sure that this simulator flies as much like the real airplane as possible. That works. This is the iOS room, also, well, stands for Instructor Operator Station. This is where you control the sim from. I'll do a carrier, carrier pass once. Think you can do this? Yeah. All right, here we go. Coming in a little steep. Take it down a little bit and then when you see that, oh, easy, easy. That was almost too much. Okay, put it right in the middle of the landing area now. Now just hold that right there. There you go. We don't function to train any of the pilots on base. They already know how to fly the jet. So it's more of a preparation of flight test, efficiency, increased efficiency uh, capability that we provide.